Okay, so in this problem we're being asked to find the general solution of the differential equation. So this is a differential equation because it's an equation and it involves an unknown function, which is y, and one or more of its derivatives. So the solution to the differential equation is the actual function y. So we have to find y, basically. So we have the derivative of y is equal to all of this stuff. So if we integrate both sides, we should get y. If you integrate the derivative, you just get y. If you integrate this, well, you just get the integral of that. So that's the idea in these problems. Whenever you have these, these differential equations like this, basically you just integrate both sides. These are easier ones. And then you just get the answer. So to work this out, um, I think we should multiply it out. So there is a formula. If you have a plus b squared, this is equal to the first one squared, then you multiply the a and the b and you double them, and then you square the last one. So here, we'll do just that. So we'll square the e to the x, so we'll get e to the x squared. So I'll go ahead and write it like that, e to the x squared. And then the 3 and the e multiplied times 2, so 6 e to the x, right, 2ab plus 3 squared is 9. And I, I purposely left this first piece unsimplified because to do this you just multiply the 2 in the x. So it's e to the 2x plus 6 e to the x plus 9. This type of simplification comes up a lot actually in uh, differential equations. If you ever study differential equations you'll get a lot of stuff like this with e's and you'll get a lot of stuff like this. Again, you just multiply the two in the x. Okay, so now we have to integrate each piece. So when you integrate e to the 2x, you just divide by 2. And I'll explain why in a minute. So it's just e to the 2x over 2. Here the integral of e to the x is e to the x. So this is 6 e to the x. And then when you integrate 9, you just get 9x. And that's it, plus c. So typically, in like a Calculus 1 course, you'll learn how to do this. They'll show you how to do it, and like you'll be required to show the work. So if you have something like this, um, you just divide by the 2. Why? Well, if you let u equal 2x, then um, du is 2dx. And then you could divide by 2 to make it match your integral. So you get 1 half du, going kind of fast, equals dx. So this becomes 1 half integral e to the u du. And when you integrate e to the u, you just get e to the u. So you get e to the 2x plus c. So you're basically dividing by 2. So if you had like e to the 3x, you would just divide by 3. If you have e to the negative 5x, you just divide by negative 5. The key is it has to be a number times x, okay? It can't be anything else. Uh, really, really useful and powerful technique. So um, I hope this video has been helpful in some way.